Hey everyone, Reptile Sam here. Fresh back from Tiddling Park, NARBC. Had an excellent time, super fun event. Can't wait to go back again. And you know what I, what this means. Redline shipping came through clutch at the show. Got my animal shipped in. Got Danger Noodle Dave's animal shipped in. Gonna go home and do my first ever quadruple unboxing. Three of them are mine, one of them's Dave's. Stay tuned, can't wait to show you guys what we get picked up at the show. All right, everyone, let's get to this unboxing. Get our box cutter out, open up this quadruple unboxing. Show you guys what we acquired at Tinley Park. What a great show, great vendors, great merch. Can't beat it. All right, I got the box cut open. Redline shipping, let's go. Okay, so we got, so they packaged it great. Sour, stick sour from on top. This is a, a temperature pack. This is their uh, ship safe phase pack. So this helps uh, keep things at a good heat and a good temperature. So it's pretty cold in Chicago, pretty warm here in South Carolina. They use the Redline shipping phase pack. We also had some extra padding to keep the animals from shifting around. Nice little block right here on top of one of the animals that's in a deli cup. So let's start small first, okay? This, we got one of the snakes is moving around in the bag, moving her little bag around, but check out this. This is the Hypo Peppermint male corn stick I picked up at the show. Got this little guy on Sunday before we headed out. So peppermint is AML and cinder, and Hypo is its own gene as well that makes snakes very light colored. So we got this little fella, and he's really small, so I don't want to try getting him out on camera just yet without having him in his enclosure because he's very nervous after being shipped. So we'll leave him in here for now, and I'll show you the rest of the snakes we got, okay? So let's move on to this little one right here. Um, oh, that little snake um, was from, I believe it was Fire Horse Exotics. Uh, at least that's how the, uh, shipping, how the uh, billing came through when I bought him but their business card had something else on them. So I'll try to tag them in the videos, but the, it was from Firehorse Exotics when I scanned my card and it's from Brian. So this next snake is from a really awesome guy. Um, great time to actually meet him in person, Adam over at Proper Royals. Adam, appreciate you working with me on this girl. So let's get this little one unboxed or unbagged, I should say. You get a little snoot right at the very tip. This little girl's ready to say hello, ready to come out, ready to say hello to her new home in South Carolina. Thank you, Reptile Maddie, for your assistance over there in the corner. Adam, you do a heck of a job at tying this thing up, buddy. All right. And again, thank you to Redline Shipping for their awesome booth and helping me out. I have shipped with other companies too, including Ship Your Reptiles, and they're all great, they all do great work. Um, this time we happened to go with Redline and they did a great job. All right, so we got a new ball python. Um, Adam's gonna give me details on how old this girl is exactly, but she's about a year. So this little girl is my Candino ball python. So she is about a year old. So she is het albino, het candy, which makes Candino. So what's awesome about that is because these two genes reside on the same allele a little bit of strings over here. I'll, I'll clean that up later. Um, there's not on the same allele. So normally if you have a het albino animal, it doesn't show het, it doesn't show albino at all. But with candino, because candy and albino reside on the same allele, it's still present. So you're gonna get a more lavender look in a candino, which don't get that confused just a lot with lavender albino. They're separate genes, okay? So this is my gorgeous new Candino female ball python from Adam over at Proper Royals. All right, I got one more of my own and then I'm gonna show you guys Danger Noodle Dave's newest pet. So this is my biggest girl I got. Um, she is a four year old proven breeder. Not about python though, so you know what that means. You guys about to get some new options from Reptile Sam this coming breeding season. And I gotta be a little careful with this one because it's a species that is not always the nicest, but when I got her out of the show, she was awesome. So, you guys wanna see what I got? 
This is from Jim over at SW Reptiles, South, Southwest Wisconsin Reptiles. And this is my four-year-old proven breeder California king snake. And this girl is a reverse stripe, four-year-old proven Cali king. And this girl is pretty chilly, so we'll get her into her enclosure into the nice and warm heat. And she is already happy to be out. Excellent personality on this girl. Um, she's a great animal. Um, really love this girl. This is the one I picked out first. I saw her and immediately knew that this was the one of the ones coming home with me. So thanks, Jim. Appreciate this animal from you. Really excited to be able to bring this girl home and give her a great home with me. And she should be breeding with Brick probably in February or March. So I'm going to get this girl into her new home and let her settle in a little bit. But excellent animal. I could not wait to get that one home. First one I saw and knew I was going to bring home. All right, everyone. Last but absolutely not least is Dave's new female banana pied het desert ghost ball python. Dave scored big on this one. Really happy for him to have this beautiful girl. Total sweetheart. And if I can figure out how I can close this bag up, we'll be in good shape. It's always the hardest part of these videos is getting these bags open. But this little lady is an absolute dream boat. So I'm ready for you guys to see this girl. And this is from Matt Byram Reptiles uh, Exotics. And Matt donated this to uh, the charity auction to support USARC. And so uh, Dave was a good steward of the hobby and brought this girl home. Super good girl. Check this out. Banana pied het desert ghost she's about a year old look at this so this is dave's incredible looking year old banana pied het desert ghost female ball python great looking animal so i've got my little fella right here this little guy's got his own little enclosure set up. So I'll give you guys some more face time with this little guy. So we're going to raise this little fella up and breed him with Winnie. Uh, probably about two, three years from now. Probably about two years when he's uh, old enough. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get Dave's new banana pied girl put away. And you've seen everything else I got. So that's our first ever quadruple unboxing from NARBC Tinley Park. Hope you guys enjoy seeing all the new animals for Reptile Sam. Can't wait to show you more updates on the snakes. And... Uh, remember to go like and subscribe to my channel, hit us up on Instagram at reptile.sam, and check out our merch options as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.